Okay, good morning everybody. I'm, as you can see, I'm packed up, headed out. I had breakfast already, oatmeal, a couple granola bars, um, leaving Hawk Mountain Shelter. Got about a 10.1 mile day today. Um, I got across Sassafras and Justice Mountains. Those are my two big climbs today. It's 7.30 in the morning. So my goal is to get down to Justice Creek or at least Justice campsites by lunchtime. I don't know the terrain. I mean, obviously I looked on gut hooks and on my paper guide and I see those are the two big climbs. So I'll take my time, get up to the top. Hopefully be some nice views um, and keep going north. Everything went good last night, slept well. Um, had to get a new pack. My climate pack had sprung a leak on my last trip to my last backpacking trip. So I ordered a new one just before this trip. It came in. Um, can't remember the name of it, but at any rate, it worked great and it slept good. Nice and insulated. The weather was supposed to get down to about low 50s, upper low to upper 50s, mid to upper 50s, I'm sorry. So not exactly sure what it got down to, but that's what the AT weather was calling for. Well, it's gonna be a good day. I'm excited. I feel good. My knees feel good. Took a couple Tylenol this morning. There's, if there's any pain or whatever, got a couple Tylenol on board. Um, other than that, I'll keep you posted as I hike north to the North Carolina border. Well, I made it down to Cooper Gap. Um, this is the gap between Sassafras and um, Justice Mountains. Rumbling in the background, you can see I've got my rain gear on. I'm going to sit here and take a little break, eat a couple snacks. I hear it thundering in the background. I'm going to kind of wait for a few minutes. I hate to get on top of Justice Mountain in the middle of the thunderstorm. <clears throat> so I'm down in a gap. I'm going to wait down here. I'm ahead of schedule. It's, um, it's only 9.49. I left Hawk Mountain Shelter at um, 7.30. So it's been just over two hours. And I'm down to Cooper Gap. Um, so I'm making pretty decent time. My goal was to get to Justice Creek by lunchtime. So I'm pretty much still on schedule, a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, little campground down here. You can see it's overcast, hazy. Coming down Cooper Gap, coming down off of uh, Sassafras, it has started to rain pretty good. And... Uh, I was having to really watch for that slick rock. Um, yeah, so let me eat a couple snacks. Yeah, sounds like the thunder might be getting. I may set up my tent here just for a little bit. It don't take me long to pop it in and, and just kind of ride it out if it gets. I'll, I'll probably wait here 10, 15 more minutes. If that thundering sounds like it's getting closer, I'll probably set up my tent and uh, just to get out of the out of the weather until it passes. And then keep going from there. I'll let you know what my plan is. I was able to get some 4G signal, thankfully. I pulled up the radar. It looks like there's going to be a line of thunderstorms coming out the west um, in about four hours. Um, so I'm going to go to Justice Creek campsite, have lunch, and uh, see if I can get some signal there and figure out what's going on. But at least I know probably around 4, 2 p.m., going to have a line of storms and if I'm near a campsite I'll probably set up my tent there let it's just a quick line let it pass and then finish hiking to Woody Gap or Ramrock Mountain so that's the plan as of now onward past Justice Mountain okay I'm heading up to Gooch Mountain Shelter I'm almost there I'm across this nice little water stream here. I think this is probably the water resupply point for Gooch Shelter. I'm gonna check it out. Talk to y'all later. I made it to 
Gooch Mountain Shelter. It's supposed to be a line of storms rolling through in about three hours. I met a fellow section hiker here at Gooch. He's got a shuttle ride down at Woody Gap that's taking him to Above the Clouds Hostel. So I think I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to make it. I told him he's just left ahead of me heading down there. I told him I'd meet him down there. Um, just let the shuttle know that, that I'm coming behind to get a, get a shuttle as well. And so I'm going to push on to Woody Gap, try to get down there before this storm. And if I have to, just hunker down there and, um, yeah, and catch the shuttle into uh, Above the Clouds. All righty, I'll keep you posted. Moving north. north. Alrighty, I made it down from Gooch Mountain Shelter down to Gooch Gap. Um, yeah, looking at the radar, I'm able to get 4G. Looking at the radar, it's um, it's a pretty severe line of storms coming. And so I'd met another hiker on the trail. He's headed northbound to Franklin. And um, here comes the rain now. And um, he told me there's a hostel. They'd pick us up here in Gooch Gap and bring us to Above the Clouds Hostel. So it's early afternoon. It's only one o'clock, but I just don't want to be in the middle of a severe thunderstorm. Yeah, the rain's coming. I don't want to be in the middle of a severe thunderstorm in a tent. I'll holler at you when we get to the hostel. Well, the trail will provide. Um, I'm at Above the Clouds Hostel. Uh, I'd met a fellow hiker at Gooch Shelter and I told him that a line of storms was coming through around 2 p.m. It was about noon and still had about 4.1 miles to get to Woody Gap and he told me he was going to be meeting a shuttle at Woody Gap or at Gooch Gap to bring him to the to this hostel and I thought man that's not a bad idea and it, it was it was dark, I'd looked on the radar. Those storms were pretty red and severe and intense. So I made a decision, un unplanned, but it's cool um, to go ahead and come on to the hostel here, above the clouds hostel. I've already had a shower early afternoon. I did 9.1 miles by, um, oh, in four hours, 9.1 miles. Well, actually in three and a half, three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes did 9.1 miles so really happy about that so it's actually an early early afternoon for me i'm gonna relax i already had a cup of coffee i'm gonna go in here really nice place i'm not gonna go inside and show everybody around but six private bunks with a little draw curtain in front of your bunk this is my first hostel so they may all be like that i don't know but six private bunks with a draw curtain private bath and shower they supply all your shampoo soap towel washcloth um, tonight's menu is corned beef and cabbage with homemade cornbread and then I'm not sure what's what's for breakfast tomorrow morning um, but free shuttle to here from either Gooch or Woody Gap um, there's a total of five hikers staying here tonight um, two ladies he was slack packing lucky lucky is the proprietor of the place um, two ladies he's slack packing and then Myself, the other gentleman named, um, I can't remember his name, and then another hiker, the, the gentleman that um, I met at Gooch Shelter. So super nice place. They're actually building some cabins up up top on their hill up here. Um, got a little right across the way over there. And uh, yeah, nice place. Looking forward to a good evening, hanging out. They do a gear shake down here. So just checking to see. I'll, I'm interested in that. My pack weight when I left the house was 24 pounds with three days of food and a full fuel canister. So looking forward to seeing what I can get rid of, what I can double up on, gear changes I can do. Um, there we go. 
So, alrighty, enough of that. This place is two miles from Gooch Gap and one mile from Woody Gap. Another change. I am back on trail the same day. Um, it's two o'clock local time. The severe thunderstorms passed through. It turned out to be a bluebird afternoon. Blue skies. It's breezy. It's a little overcast right now, but the rain by far is gone, and it was some blue skies off in the distance. So Lucky, the proprietor of Above the Clouds Hostel, said, if you want to, because I was really planning on stopping at Woody Gap. So that's 3.1 miles that I would have missed. He offered to bring me back to um, Gooch Gap, where he picked us up, and let me slack pack to, to Woody for 3.1 miles. Um, that way I don't miss any part of Georgia. So hats off to Lucky. Uh, above the Cods Hostel is a top-notch place. He seems to be a top-notch guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to go over Ramrock Mountain here in a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I really want to get down in the Neil Gap tomorrow evening. And if I would not have done this, that would have made for a 14 plus mile day tomorrow, which in would include Blood Mountain. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this and uh, knock off these 3.1 miles and He's going to pick me back up at, at Woody and bring me back to the hostel. Alrighty. A little bit of the trail. Beautiful green views. Climbing up to Ramrock right now. Like I said, climbing. So Let me get up there. When I get to the top, I'll show you all some views. Almost to the top of Ramrock Mountain. Probably one of our first views I've had since starting. And I know it's going to be better than this. This is just wanted to kind of show y'all some of the views. Alrighty, on to Ramrock. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So glad I did this after the rain passed. Just clear skies. Ramrock Mountain. I made it to Woody Gap from Gooch Gap. Took me just under two hours. Yeah. Uh, as you know, Ramrock Mountain was fantastic. So, I'm going to go back to the hostel now. Uh, I already had a shower. I didn't really sweat on this one since that front came through. It's a lot cooler. Um, I'm going to go back to the hostel and take my shoes off, dry out my pack a little bit, and uh, maybe take a couple of Tylenol or ibuprofen and let my knees relax because it's Blood Mountain tomorrow into Neil's Gap, Neil Gap. So I may come back a little bit later, but I'm right now I'm at um, Woody Gap. All right, have a good afternoon.